Just cause you're good, doesn't mean you have to be a dick about it. Yeah. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most pretentious video game communities. Quit playing around and fight. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin-off channel, Mojo Plays, for in-depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays, game smarter. For this list, we'll be looking at the most elitist gaming communities around. Since we're looking at pretentiousness specifically, we'll actually be excluding communities that are more known for general toxic behavior. Keep in mind that we aren't saying everyone in this community behaves like this, but that the community as a whole has a reputation for this sort of behavior. Number 10, Super Smash Brothers series. <laughs> Melee or bust is what you'll typically hear coming from the SSB community. Ever since the release of SSBM, the fans will not acknowledge the next two entries in the series. While Melee is known for its tight controls, consistent frame rate, and balanced character roster, the game's creator, Masahiro Sakurai, is upset at how the community treats it. He'd prefer each entry to be treated as a brand new game rather than a sequel, as each iteration has introduced new mechanics and features and changed up the character roster. Despite SSB4 increasing the pace and tightening the controls from Brawl, the community will probably never get over their obsession. Number 9, Counter-Strike series. Let's see who you think is gonna win. Do you think he's gonna be envious? I hope you learned every single call sign, map layout, and gun in the game. Counter-Strike's competitive community is already well known for its toxicity, but its pretentious behavior also plays a huge role. This is suddenly turning very much in fanatics' favor, despite the fact it's envy on match point. Going into a competitive match, your team expects you to know basically everything. If you don't, you're liable to be kicked or shouted at, or maybe both. They say practice makes perfect, but if you can't even get the practice in, then how does the community expect you to improve? And uh, don't expect to learn much in casual play. Number 8, Undertale. Undertale's a fantastic game, praised by both critics and gamers alike for bringing unique gameplay features and storytelling to life while also paying homage and poking fun at all sorts of aspects of gaming. Unfortunately, if you ever speak ill of one of the tiniest aspects of the game, you'll likely never hear the end of it. The community treats Undertale's praise more as a fact rather than opinion, seeing any review of the game below a certain threshold as objectively incorrect. Number 7, StarCraft series. Now I know there won't be any problems. It's almost like an essential part of competitive gaming is to have an elitist community. You've got your basic pro players who abide by certain strategies that, if you yourself aren't capable of, will be reminded of your own failures. This coming from both enemies and teammates. I think so many things happen and with so many small moments we could have been looking at a completely different game of StarCraft 2. Of course, StarCraft 2 isn't just about multiplayer, as even its single player story isn't safe from fans calling the story in Wings of Liberty a waste of your time or a complete load of romantic nonsense. Hey, you can't always please both veterans and newcomers. I heard they put you on ice. Live sentence. Number 6, Dark Souls series. By now, everyone knows how difficult and frustrating Dark Souls can be, and for newcomers who may criticize that aspect, they are met with such rebuttals as the common get good. According to the community, Dark Souls is enjoyable if you get better at it, but using guides or helpful hints might also be frowned upon, so there doesn't seem to be much of a way to win both in the game and within the community. Due to the series' high level of agency, players can tackle challenges in basically any way they please, but the community likes to remind others that their methods are always the best. Number 5, Metal Gear Solid series. Hideo Kojima may be known for his outstanding contributions to the gaming world, but his followers are a bit… enthusiastic. It's no doubt that the Metal Gear Solid series is his creation, but it's not like he's the only one that worked on it. This one's a top of the line model. The community tends to hold not just the series, but Mr. Kojima on such a high pedestal while looking at him with their rose-tinted glasses. He's a great developer and an interesting storyteller, but loyal fans would have you believe that he's the greatest of all time. Uh, snake! So, back from the dead? Number four, Kingdom Hearts series. All right, 
Time for some recon. Fans of games will always defend the flaws of their favorite titles. It's inevitable, but how can a community defend something like the Kingdom Hearts series? Well, thanks to several spin-offs and too many antagonists to cover in one list, the story has become a pretentious, complicated, convoluted mess where one would have you read through a whole book just to get the basic understanding of what the f is going on. I took it for granted. I thought I had nothing in life to lose. While most of the community understand its flaws, they continue to hold the story in high regard, criticizing complaints with responses like, you just don't understand. Well, I guess we can agree on something. Ugh, where am I? Number three, The Legend of Zelda series. It's no secret that gamers and critics love The Legend of Zelda series, especially its latest entry, Breath of the Wild. But with every great series, there always seems to be an elitist community behind it. While Zelda fans may not initially show signs of basic toxic behavior, they're clamoring over what entry is the best, and fan interpretations of the story get pretty tiresome after a while. Even after Nintendo unveiled the ahem, official timeline, the community's arguments did not cease, though all this is nothing compared to the classic Zelda community. Defending older entries in the series, no matter how badly their mechanics may have aged. Number two, MOBAs. A fair warning before you jump into a multiplayer online battle arena. You cannot and will not ever please your teammates. MOBAs pride themselves on the insane variety of playstyles in their game. And while patches certainly affect the way a hero is played, a player can still successfully develop their own strategies, which apparently is the worst thing you can do. Here I come! Even before you begin playing, players have been known to prey upon wrong hero choices and reject any playstyle that isn't their own. And don't even get us started on the feud between Dota 2 and League of Legends. Ugh. Before we unveil the most pretentious gaming community, here are some dishonorable engines. There seems to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate baby. Number 1. PC Gamers If you're a gamer, you probably heard the term PC Master Race. While PCs are indeed more powerful than their console counterparts, PC gamers take the elite status a bit too far, constantly boasting about their higher resolutions, frame rate, and graphics overall. Aside from constantly mocking, ahem, console peasants, PC gamers have also been known to get upset if their game doesn't support a wide variety of options. We get it, you pay a pretty penny for your gaming PC and you want your money's worth. But that really doesn't excuse this kind of behavior. Do you agree with our picks?